Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Thursday. All right. So today is be the good day. And um, that's kind of just we're trying to say um, wear a shirt if you have one with a positive message, either at home, on Zoom, or in, in school. And mine says, in a world where you can be anything, it says, be kind. And I think that is an awesome message, right? And they're trying to say, you can be mean, you can be sad, you can be jealous, you can be all those things, but you know what you also can be? You can be kind. You can be kind to someone, right? You can be kind to your friend, be kind to a stranger. You can be kind and you, little by little, could change the world. That's what it's kind of saying there. So um, it kind of goes with our story, Yertle the Turtle. Um, and I'll read it to you, okay? But there's this King Yertle who is kind of being the opposite of kind. He's being, um, you'll see. And then there's this little turtle, Mac, right? He's kind and he's thinking of everybody else, right? He's trying to be the change in the world little by little, okay? So it's little turtle Mac. So we're gonna read, and this one is another one like that book, Sneetches, where there's a lot more books in there, but we're just gonna read the Yertle the Turtle one, okay? So Yertle the Turtles, and it says other stories, but we're not reading the other stories by Dr. Seuss, okay? So let's see, Yertle the Turtle. All right. Here are these turtles here. On the faraway island of Salamansand, your little turtle was king of the pond. There goes that rhyming again, right? A nice little pond. It was clean, it was neat. The water was warm, there was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need and they were all happy, quite happy indeed. Okay, so they're starting out pretty happy right now, right? They said they're all happy. There's King Yertle, right? He's just sitting right there. All the turtles are having fun. They were, meaning they were happy until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king. I'd be ruler of all that I could see. Okay, so he, he wants more. He's king, he says, of this pond, and he can see them and everything, but he wants to rule more, okay? He wants to see more. He wants to be in charge of more. Oh, there goes our stacking turtles, right? Kind of like the cover here, right? There it is. So Yertle the turtle lifted his hand and Yertle the turtle king gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone and using these turtles, he built a new throne. Um, he made each turtle stand on one another's back and he piled them up all in a nine turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up, he sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view, he could see most a mile. Now, let's go back here. Remember when they said all the turtles were happy, right? What were they doing? Having fun in their pond, right? Doing what they wanted, right? Enjoying themselves. But now what are they doing? They have to just sit one on top of another, right? Just so Yertle could be, that could be his throne and just sit there and just be in charge of everything. Now they don't really have their freedom anymore. Now they can't do whatever they want from the pond. They have to stay there, okay? And there's this little baby turtle. Oh, my, Yertle cried. Oh, the things I know now rule. I'm king of a cow. I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a horse. And what's more, beyond that, I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle. Oh, marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. So now he can see more than just his pond. He's seen a horse and a mule and a cow, right? And all that morning, he sat there up high, saying over and over, a great king am I, until long about noon. That's a long time means they've kind of been sitting there on top of each other for like six hours. <sighs> then he heard a faint sigh. I just did a sigh like, <sighs> what's that? Snapped the king and he looked down the stack and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac, just a part of his throne. And this plain little turtle looked up and he said, mm, beg your pardon, King Yertle. I have pains in my back and sho my shoulders and knees. How much, how long must we stand here, your majesty, please? Yeah, he's 
can't even for a long time, right? His back is hurting. He's like, this is it. Can we get a stop doing this? Silence! Yikes. The king of the turtles barked back. I'm king and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house and a horse and a bush and a cat. But that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, his royal voice thunders. So pile up more turtles. I want about 200. Ooh, he's getting like greedy, right? He's like, wants more. Oh, here they have to go. All of them are so tired. They have to go do this. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed, and the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond, they came swimming by dozens, whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins, and all of them stepped on the head of poor Mac. One after another, they climbed up a stack. So poor Mac, they're climbing up, up, up. Then Yertle the turtle was perched up so high, he could see 40 miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray, shouted Yertle, I'm king of the trees, I'm king of the birds, I'm king of the bees, I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah, me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. That's a high stack. And again, all those turtles have to just listen and they don't get to do what they want to do, right? And have their needs met. That's not good. Did I just rhyme? I don't know. Then again, from Bellow in the great heavy stack, came a groan from the pain little turtle named Mac. Oh, your majesty, please. I don't like to complain, but down here below, we are feeling great pain. Notice how he said we, right? He's talking about everybody right now. All those turtles. Um, I know up on top you are seeing great sights, but down at the bottom, we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it. Our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food. We are starving, grown Mac. Right? Now he's like not just worried about himself. He's worried about all the other turtles. Remember, he can make a difference, right? He's like, hey, hey, we're hungry. We need water. Our backs are hard, hurting. We are starving, right? This isn't fair. We have rights, you know. You hush up, howled the mighty King Yertle. You have no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds over land, over sea. There's nothing, no nothing that's higher than me. Mm. It's not being a good leader. You're not a good leader if you don't listen to your people, okay? And if his people are saying they need help and he's not listening, that's not being a good leader. It's being very selfish. But, oh my goodness. I don't even know if you could see all those turtles stacked, right? But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise up over his head in the darkening skies. What's that? Said Yertle, see, what is that thing that dares to be higher than Yertle the king? I shall not allow it. I'll go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I can and I will. I'll call some more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. I need about 5,607. Listen, Yertle. First, you need to relax. Two, you're not going to be higher than the moon, bud. That's just not how it works. But he doesn't care. He's not listening. He's being greedy, right? He's being selfish. He just wants to use, like, wants more power. But, oh, uh oh. As Yertle the turtle king lifted his hand and started to order and give the command. That plain little turtle bellow in the stack, that plain little turtle whose name was just Mac, decided he'd taken enough and he had. And that plain little lad got a little bit mad. And that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped and his burp shook, his burp shook the throne of the king. Mac, right on that bottom, he burped, right? And it shook everybody. What happened? What happened? Ah, it's the king, he fell all the way down. And Yertle the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of a house and a cow and a mule. Well, that was the end of Turtle King's rule. For Yertle the king of all Salamansan fell off his high throne and fell plunk in the pond. Oh, I said pond, in the pond. There he is. And today, the great Yertle, 
the marvelous he is king of the mud, that is all he can see. And the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free, as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. I like that one. And turtles and maybe all creatures should be, meaning all the creatures of the earth. Humans, animals should be free, right? They shouldn't be ruled, right? Especially by leaders who do not listen to their rights. And that is Yertle the turtle. Yeah. And the hero in that story was Mac, little Mac, right? So what do you think? Um, now, what do you think at the, like, what was Dr. Seuss's reason for writing that story? What was his purpose, do you think? What do you think? Again, entertaining doesn't need to mean funny, right? Entertaining to me, I love funny books. I think you've gotten to know that by now, right? That's like my favorite kind of, I love laughing with books. But a good book doesn't always have to make you laugh, right? It could just be, it's just a good book. Like, I want to read that again. Um, I want to talk about it with someone. You know it's good, especially like a movie. You know it's good when you want to talk about it with somebody. So like, I told, I told the other teachers, I was like, I can't wait to read your old turtle. I love it. And that little turtle Mac, right? He, um, in a world where he can be anything, he chose to be a better leader than King Yertle, okay? And I think, yes, it was entertaining the story, but I also think Dr. Seuss was teaching us something again, right? You can't be a leader if you're not gonna listen to your people, right? They matter, they have rights, everyone has rights, right? Not just one person telling everybody what to do, that doesn't work, okay? Um, I think they said on this page, I really liked it, when it was talking about we may be small, but we have rights too. Wait. Right? I know up on top you are seeing great sights, but down at the bottom, we too should have rights. Okay? We turtles can't stand it. Our shells will crack. Besides, we need food. We are starving, grown Mac, right? He was then saying, I need to talk for everybody right here. Okay, we too should have rights. Kind of goes back to those character traits, right? No matter what your outside traits are, everyone has rights, okay? That means the right to freedom, right? Those turtles, they have the right to swim around their ponds and be happy, the right to food, the right to water, right? Um, and <laughs> Mac, I think would make a really good leader. I think he would way better than Yertle the turtle, that king, right? Now he's king of the mud. Okay, so um, I hope you really liked that story. I loved it, I love little Mac. And then tomorrow, I am gonna read a story. Now, um, it's not gonna be a Dr. Seuss story, but it's another really good feel good book, okay? It's one of my all time favorite books. So I'm really excited to read it to you, all right? So make sure you check out all the other teacher's stories and have a great day and I'll see you back here tomorrow, bye.